Today, we are talking about a classic, an icon, a staple in menswear, the Sperry Topsider. We're gonna to talk about how to style them, as well as a few other things that you guys asked me in relation to boat shoes, topsiders, on my Instagram story. Today's video is brought to you by Sperry. They sent over these. They are part of the brand new John Legend Edit. I'm really loving the colorway, just classic brown with a brown sole. But what I wanna focus on today is really pushing away from that classic sort of Southern frat boy association and show you how you can be wearing these to look awesome, but really feel awesome as well all throughout spring and summer. First, the most common thing that I was asked about on my Instagram story, which was kind of to be expected, was about socks. So let's talk about those. Now, generally speaking, once you've broken them in, I would not recommend wearing any socks at all with them. It's very common to just wear them sockless. That's kind of how they were designed to be worn on a boat. But if you are a sock person and you want to do a no-show sock, you can just be sure that it is in fact a no-show sock. Let me show you. Two of the most common things that I see that are instantly a turnoff style-wise, they bring down your whole level of style and your look, is when you can see your no-show sock in the heel right there, or when you can see it right around the top of your foot. I know that's minor and it's nitpicky, but that little detail totally throws off your look. This brings us to the second thing that a lot of people ask me about, and that is how you can get them to stop hurting the back of your ankle or the top of your foot. Being that we're in quarantine right now, it's the perfect time to break in your shoes at home. What's beautiful about these is as you can see on the bottom, it's a non-marking sole. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take a pair of super heavy duty boot socks, or if you don't have anything like that, Grab like two pairs of athletic socks. To be clear, this is only when you're wearing them at home to break them in. You do not want to leave the house like this. And then you're just going to wear them around the house. They're non-marking, so they're not going to do anything to your floors. They're going to break in. They're going to form to your foot. They're going to become a lot more comfortable. Let's talk about how to style yourself in them to be looking and feeling real good. We are going to do three different outfit categories. Super casual, semi sort of upscale casual, and then semi-formal for like a summer wedding. So in our first look, we're starting with our topsiders, a bathing suit, a casual t-shirt, a straw hat, and a beach bag. This is for your everyday trip to the water. If you're going to the beach, you're going to the lake, you wanna look nice, but you also still wanna be super comfortable and functional when the weather is really warm outside. Be sure that your t-shirt's a little bit fitted. You can tuck in the front corner like I did to kinda dress it up just a tiny bit. Straw hats, very casual and comfortable, keeps your hair at bay. So if you get it wet, you don't feel like doing anything with it, throw the hat back on and you've got your bag to carry all your stuff. In the next look, we're staying in the super casual category with the boat shoes, some denim shorts, a comfortable tank top and a comfortable button up shirt over the top. This is for those days when you need to be super casual and relaxed, but you're not necessarily going to the water and you want to stay very functional while also staying very comfortable. So if you need to, you could button up the shirt to look a little bit nicer. Overall, it's just very easy. It's a perfect summer and spring layering style that steps away from what you would expect to see from someone wearing a boat shoe because you're wearing cut off jean shorts or you're layering things in a different way than would be traditionally expected. Next, we're moving on to the slightly upscale casual category. So go with your boat shoes, some slim fit chino pants, a polo shirt, and a denim jacket. This is an outfit when you're headed out. You want to go to a casual night out. You're going to a date night. You need to look nice. And the chinos and the polo might be a little bit more of what you'd expect someone to be wearing with boat shoes, but then by throwing on a slightly distressed denim jacket or something that kind of edges up the outfit a little bit, all of a sudden then you're entering into a new territory and you're going to look different than everybody else wearing boat shoes in a good way. Once again, in our upscale casual category, we've got our boat shoes, some slim fit dark denim, a casual short sleeve button up and a leather jacket. This is really taking a traditional top sider style outfit and just flipping it right on its head. You do not think leather jacket. You do not think edgier pieces but when you style it all together this way, 
It really works nicely and it allows you to be super comfortable and casual in the shoes, but then kind of juxtapose it by tucking in your shirt and wearing it with a leather jacket or something that is just going to be different than what everyone expects to see you in. And finally, for our semi-formal, a little bit more dressy category, start with your boat shoes, some suit pants, a casual button-up shirt, floral pattern encouraged, your matching suit jacket, and finish it off with a brown belt to match your shoes. This is a look that's perfect if you're going to an outdoor spring or summer wedding, or just something a little bit more upscale where a suit is appropriate, but you're not gonna need to wear a tie. Anytime you have a necktie on, I would not recommend wearing top siders. It's just kind of one of those weird rules that you can break it if you want, but most people won't. It's fun, it's casual, it's a little bit nautical themed, but ultimately still extremely stylish because you're focusing on how the suit fits, you're adding a little bit of fun in the shirt, being a little bit of a bolder pattern. And finally, for one more look in our upscale casual category, start with your boat shoes, some more suit pants, a plain white t-shirt, your suit blazer, and finally, a neckerchief. This is a really fun, summery, suited look. The shoes are casual, they're easy, they're comfortable, but then by combining it with a brighter colored suit, a casual t-shirt, and then the neckerchief, which as you can see, if you look closer, I actually just tied it like a necktie. If this isn't your style with the neckerchief, that's completely fine. It's a little bit more of an advanced move. It's not for everybody and that's okay, but showing you that the shoes combined with a slightly more edgy outfit can still work really well and step completely away from how you would normally see a pair of top siders styled. Thank you very much to Sperry for sponsoring today's video. There will be a link down in the description to check these out as well as everything else from the John Legend edit. I am loving a lot of the different stuff that they have put out with him. Very, very cool. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel. Go follow me on Instagram. Lots of other style advice and ideas there. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.